Today we're reading from Luke 24, starting in verse 36. As they were saying these things, he himself stood in their midst. And he said to them, Peace be to you. But they were startled and terrified, and they thought they were seeing a ghost. Why are you troubled? he asked. And why do doubts arise in your heart? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost doesn't have flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. Having said these things, he showed them his hands and his feet. But while they were amazed and in disbelief because of their joy, he asked them, Do you have anything to eat? So he gave, they gave him a piece of broiled fish. And he took it and ate in their presence. And he told them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understanding the scriptures. What we see here is a risen Jesus patiently coming alongside the disbelief of those who call him Lord and Savior. And when I read this passage, it sticks out to me because there have been moments in my life where I believed in God, but there were some things that I didn't believe God about. And in these days of uncertainty, I need for Jesus to show up to me and say, peace to you. Don't be afraid. Don't be uncertain. This too will get through. This too, I can overcome. And just like he patiently showed up to his disciples, he'll patiently show up for us. He'll patiently come alongside us. And if we are willing to spend time in his presence and we're willing to reflect on his word, he'll bring us understanding. And he'll help us to see that there's joy in the midst of whatever we're going through. That there's hope for us. And that God is good. All of these things, all of these things, too, can bring him glory. So when anxiety rattles up, spend time in the presence of a savior who will patiently walk through that with you. Peace be to you. Don't let your hearts be overwhelmed in these days. Spend time with a risen savior.